Oh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to see how to create card type region and how we can show the card type region. Uh, okay, for that, what I'm going to do, I will. Uh, so there are two ways to create card type region. Uh, okay, the first way is by selecting default template, default card type page itself, and the other way is like manually where we want to create card type. That is also possible. So for that, what I'm going to show, do, I'm going to create a new page first and I'm going to do the default one first. Yeah. So let's go to page designer for that. And here in the page designer, click on this plus icon and click on the page. Uh, so in this page, we have different type of, uh, you know, pages which can be created. I'm going to select this cards type uh, page. Yeah. So I'm going to just click on it. And when you select on this thing, uh, you get an option to, you know, write uh, the name of the page uh, or write the name of the um, the page which will be visible in the region. So I'll just say card uh, region. And in the below, let it be normal page. In the below section, you will have to define data source. Either you can write a SQL query or you can select a table. For this example, I'm going to select a table itself and the table is going to be, for example, let's say this cust activities. I'll just select this table and if you scroll down, we get an option to use a breadcrumb. Let it be as it is. There's an option to be uh, use the navigation menu. Let it be as it is. We want to use navigation menu. And here, here the icon, we directly uh, got this cards because we have selected card type page. So this is fine. We are okay with this. Let's click on next and uh, when we click on next it will ask the layout of the card how you you want your card should look like this is grid float and uh, horizontal so let the grid be uh, as it is because this is the kind of standard standard layout for the card floating is not good because if you have less data then it is fine if you have a lot of card type data this doesn't look good horizontal is also good but uh, mostly we create it for mobile device okay so that user can keep scrolling the things and they can keep getting the data so it's like that and below here the card attribute is there the title of the column is going to be the name body column is going to be the description and so on right the badge column is there i will select uh, as uh, activity date for badge column and let's click on create page and see how it looks so when we create the page you can see a new page got created with page number four a card region got created over here and some of the other things got created so so we are not going to dig into the page for now i just go i'll just go to the front end and i will expand this navigation menu here you can see we don't have any navigation menu as of now but when i refresh the page uh, you can see we have our, our navigation menu as card region, what we have created just now. Now when I click on this card region, you will find that we got the region something like this. A beautiful card got created. Fine. Uh, here you will find the name of the, the card and the description of the card uh, with a badge. This is nothing but a badge where we are just showing the activity date. So this is, uh, you know, uh, this is how you can create the card in in, in uh, Oracle Apex just by selecting the table and you know by giving some information uh, in the in the card itself now here you can see we have order by things so if you select order by activity date it will get ordered as per the activity date if you select order by description it will get ordered as per the description yeah and if you select order by name it will get uh, ordered as per the name that is fine now if you go uh, if you'll click on quick edit and if you'll go to this region uh, here, here you will see that a card region is there and in the ref right side uh, where you can see the property of the region the name of the region is card region the type is cards this is the important part where you have to pay attention the type is card. It is not a classic report, interactive report or any other type of report. This is a card. And when you come down, the source is a SQL query. If I expand this, you'll find that you have all the columns from this table, which is fine. But the main thing what we wanted is uh, the name. 
and the, the description and the activity date what we are showing over here in the front end okay so and we have a lot of other columns also we can use it at other places but yes uh, I'll just show you what uh, I want to say let it be as it is uh, this is the only important thing now if you we'll go to the attributes in the attribute you will find that the layout is grid okay and if you we'll scroll down here you can see the title part the title is name if you want you can change the title let's say if you want you want to give the title as activity date that is possible or owner or who created it like that you can do it and if you we'll scroll down you you can see that there is a subtitle also okay you have to if you want to show the subtitle sub, subtitle you will have to select it from here in the body section you can see that we have declared as description that is why you can see in the body all the description of the data right and if I scroll down you have an option to select secondary body also and the icon and badge this is nothing but the badge what we are showing over here like this the activity date right you have some more option as media and pagination and stuff like that pagination means let's say if you have hundred of records okay and if you make pagination as a scroll so all the records will get listed over here there will there will not be any pagination thing but as soon as you'll keep scrolling the data you'll keep getting the data all the all hundred record will get stacked in this page itself but if you make the type as pagination I mean the page thing you'll get a page number over here you'll have to switch from one page to another page to see more data right now let me quickly show you one thing which is let's say if I want to we have given title as name and let's say if I want to give a subtitle as uh, created by okay so I just selected created by as a subtitle I'll just save it and uh, I will just refresh this page now you'll find that we got a subtitle over here okay so this is how you can you know uh, you know uh, you can show the data in the card right so this is one way of creating card region other ways like you can do this entire thing manually instead of selecting a card type template from uh, from while creating the uh, the page you can just create a blank page and you can create a card region something like this and you can write everything on your own okay manually so uh, uh, so th that that is also going to do the same thing fine okay so this is nice uh, additionally what I'm going to show you that let's say if you want to update any of these records you want to open a form and that form should have an option to update the data how you can do that so if you remember we already have created a form in the last video if you haven't gone through that please uh, go through the last video you'll be able to understand what I'm saying we already have created a form type region on this table okay I'm going to use the same uh, region or the same page to update the record so for that what I'm going to do in the card section here you can find there's an action button over here right right click on it and say create action you can see this new uh, action got created the identification is button instead of button I'll say full card as soon as you make full card uh, you get an option as link I will click on this thing and I will just pass that page number the forms page number and that is three here I have to pass the ID also so page number three because on that particular ID things will get updated so I'll select the ID and let it be as it is just save it and uh, now refresh the page fine you cannot see anything over here but when you'll hope go to any of the card you will find that now this card is clickable you will be able to click on this card and when I click on this card a form will get opened something like this right so you can see we have clicked on the phone call uh, type right here you can see sorry cold call cold call is the name of the uh, the activity so here when you click on it you got this cold call and let's say if you have clicked on face to face you got this face to face right when you click on this test activity one you you just open this test activity one 
so you can see we don't have any description for test activity I will add the description over here as uh, this is a test activity uh, we are making a change in the description field right so let's say we have written something some description over here and click on apply change okay so description got updated this region didn't get refreshed let it be as it is just refresh this page and see if you got the description or not and you got the description so this is how we have created a card region and we are just trying to update the data with the help of form that's about this video let me know if you have any comment any suggestion any feedback i hope you have enjoyed the video and let's catch up in another video thank you